for your Suzuki Extreme experience. Coming to you from round two of the Suzuki Cup on the Bay of Plenty from Matatar. Once again, difficult conditions greeted the competitors. A true test of man and machine in the Bay of Plenty. This time it's the Bay of Plenty four-wheel drive club to host our own event in round two of the Suzuki Extreme four-wheel drive cup. For us, the concept is to bring the top 25 trucks from the national competition series together and we threw in a, a few wild cards. Suzuki New Zealand are the major supporters of the television program Suzuki Extreme. They provided even more amazing support in the form of this great Suzuki Extreme four-wheel drive cup. Welcome, here we are at the second round of Suzuki 4x4 Cup. And first off, we want to talk to Phil. He took the uh, he took the first round out and pretty impressively too, but beat some of the top trucks in the country. Today it looks like another wet, sort of greasy day. Any rally is going to be interesting. It's all new sort of ground to me. Well, this is hazard number one here at Matatar, and this is Walton and Chase Ryder. We just heard from Chase a little while ago. These are the men to beat. This is their home-built V8 Holden supercharged smooth talker. And already they've struck some problems and that's going to pick them up 60 points. Next it is Brent Ward and Mark Smith out of the Wara Wrapper. And you can see that the difficult underwheel conditions there that uh, Dead Foley is just providing a few problems for these guys. They have a bit of a halt there too, and maybe they're going to pick up 60 as well, so pretty close contest. Yeah, still shaking. <laughs> Hamish Lore and uh, Hamish Simpson are next to go. Once again, it is a home-built special, two-litre turbo GTIR Nissan, running high like stiffs, and look at the angle, the lean angle, as they head sharply downhill now. Remember it's judged on speed and of course staying in the confines of the course. They do that, they pick up 60 points as well. well this is the Brunton Engineering Rig of Derek Smythe and Mike Reapin. 5 litre P76 alloy V8 powered. And it really is a picture of engineering. And these trucks aren't cheap let me tell you. Perfect run for Derek Smythe and Mike Reapin. Zero points, they've negotiated the course, kept it inside the barriers and scored no penalty points as well. Let's see if the Waltons can do the same. Martin and Tony Walton out of the Bay of Plenty. You've got to have a lot of confidence in not only your navigator but also your driver if you are the navigator because some of the lean angles that these trucks get themselves on have to be experienced to be believed. Got a little bit out of control at the top, not too bad. Another perfect score there for the Waltons, so things tightening up now. Here is the president of the Bay of Plenty four-wheel drive club, Nev Dalton and Colin Piper. coming down towards the blue pegs and yet another zero clearance so a great run here for uh, Nev Dunton this is the, uh, Adrian Graham and Debbie Kelly now in their home built Toyota Lexus powered uh, Cowley hire centre sponsored truck and just taking a bit of the foliage with them and I think they must have taken a peg as well so they pick up 30 points well, this is hazard number two. It's round two of the Suzuki Extreme Four Wheel Drive Cup. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome day. And these are the Sturms, Ron and Debbie. Now remember, they've got to keep in within the confines of the course so they can't hit one of those red pegs, and that's exactly what they've done. So that is not the start they were looking for. So that will take their cumulative score to 70. Now, they were in 12th place, and that's going to hammer them harder, would think. Good one to start on. Yeah. Just uh, no, no jitters at all, eh? <laughs> Ray Hill and Gary Rennell now in the Mitsubishi Pajero. 3 litre V6 supercharge. Auto Ute and 4 by 4 are the sponsors. You see they took a red peg as well. They're currently sitting in 23rd place. Howard and Alcock here from one of the oldest uh, trucks in the challenge and that is a Land Rover. V12 BMW powered though, so it's a little bit more than a Land Rover. Try not to roll there and see if we get up the hill. So this is the Beach family, Jared and Russell, out of uh, Counties Manukau in Auckland. It's an Evo 6 turbo powered freak, they call it. You have a look there, they've taken the white peg, so that's the easier way if you like. So that's going to cost them 20 points by going the easy route. There's nothing easy in this. This is the Suzuki Extreme 4-wheel drive cup coming to you from Manitou. 
has it on the section will be 30 points, but because they took the easy way, took the white peg, they get an extra 20, so their total is 50. Lerv and Highland the next, now they're currently sitting in 30th place, looking for a good result here on Hazard 2, they certainly started with a hiss and a roar, taking the white peg, so there is the instant 20 point to their total. Oh, and that means that they haven't completed the course, so 70 points for Lerv and Highland. Ray Raising and uh, Brent McKenzie are next. Oh, and that's not the way to do it. The little Suzuki landing all wheels up. The Fabrica are muffler sponsored truck, but unfortunately, 70 big points. Here it is from a different angle. Did it go to plan, eh? No, didn't go to plan at all, but <laughs> it happens. If it works, it's my plan. If it doesn't work, it's her plan. <laughs> This is Ray, Moose Morris and Karen Morris out of South Waikato. Four litre Lexus, four wheel drive commercial parts world are the sponsor. You can see these trucks running big horsepower but it's certainly about being precise. They've taken the white bag so that's a 40 point, uh, uh, should I say a 20 point addition to their overall score which will get them to the top in 40 points so that's a great run for the Morrises. I wonder who they'll blame that on. Perfect entrance, perfect exit. Which lane was that one? Mine. <laughs> Mike Dodunsky and Graham Goble next. Oh well, no, we just got here actually. We ripped the tyre, sold the tyre out on the first one, so we just got back from the pit, so we're just going to wing it. These guys all the way from the Taranaki, so they know about the mud. They've certainly got mud here at Matatas, round two of the Suzuki Cup. Oh, hello, we got another one turning turtle in the Bay of Plenty. Well, that wasn't what Mike Dodinsky was looking for. He's one of the better of the four-wheel drive competitors. Here it is from a different angle from our extreme camera. You can see it's so imperative to keep your arms inside the confines of the roll cage as the roll is happening. This is Dahlberg and Dahlberg from Whangarei from the Winterless North in the PDL sponsored truck. Holden V8 supercharged. Oh, 100 points isn't going to help there position today. Lane Jones and Ryan Bold next from the Valley Four Wheel Drive Club. It's a home built space frame. BJ King and Associates are the sponsors. Oh and they've got some problems as well as they head off course at a rapid rate of knots. Lucky the local Brambles stopped there. Progress 70 points. They were in fourth place so that's gonna hurt. Oh, just hit the trees, do they? So you heard them say they hit the tree and that uh, set them off on their course of action. We're just gonna go through onto the track and try and achieve 80 points because if we go down the hill and take another two pegs, we're number 100. But this is Derek Smythe and Mike Reapin and they're currently sitting in seventh place. You've heard the plan of attack and it really is attack here. Oh, and have they kept it on the island? I don't think they have. And 80 points, well, they were looking to retrieve something out of that and it hasn't worked that way. Ernie and Heidi Schicker next from Eastern Bay. Bad Blood is the truck. Schicker Earthworks are the sponsors. Well, there'll be bad blood in the family tonight because over she goes. Here it is on the Suzuki Extreme replay from a different angle. And you can see there's quite an impact when they, um, they tip over. Uh, we're going to um, hopefully get up around that bank and stay on our wheels. Um, but apart from that, I have no idea. <laughs> well, optimism there from Mike G. Taylor and Alistair Bradley. Hoping to stay on the wheels. Well, I've done it so far. 60 points, so that's a good result. They were in sixth Get place. It's going to be pretty, pretty slippery, but we'll give it our best shot. Phil Bayliss and Todd Sharman are next from the Windy City. It's a Ford 302 V8 powered uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. Another 60 point run for them. And hopefully with a, um, a higher starting uh, grid today, it would be uh, really good to get on with it and get up sure. there. Just change some oils and a bit of maintenance and we'll get on with it. Welcome back to Suzuki Extreme coming to you from Matatar. Oh, it's an awesome event, definitely. Um, I'd say today's going to be very much like last, uh, last, the last rally. And um, yeah, no, really good, eh? I just, you know, we got a seventh at the last one and um, trying to improve on that. Michael, my new navigator, he's, um, you know, he's brand new, hasn't been in the sport before. Well, we've just heard from Derek Smythe, here he is in action. This is hazard number three here at Matatar. And essentially it's a hill climb, but to say essentially it's a hill climb is a bit like saying Mount Everest is a stroll up a hill. Because it still is a huge test of man and machine. And look at the preparation. 
on this home built special, this Brunton Engineering special. Showroom condition, even at the top of this hazard, and zero points. Now that's going to help these guys a lot because they're sitting in seventh place. Malcolm McLevy and Glenn Gooden next in their Suzuki. Sponsored by Cops. A little four cylinder working real hard here. But they've found just that little bit of traction they're looking for. Currently sitting in 11th place, another clean section by the look of it, it is. So they go through with zero points as well. This is Phil Bayliss and Todd Charman from the Windy City in their Ford V8 powered Land Cruiser. Not as easy as it would look. I'm sure they're thinking to themselves now. Next up, Mike Dodunsky and Graham Goble in their home built Brand X sponsored machine. get to the top either and that's a bit of a surprise because they were sitting in sixth place well, this is Brendan James now he didn't compete in round one of the Suzuki four-wheel drive extreme cup but he is a c-class champion from last year he was also involved in our international challenge in South Africa he's got a brand new co-driver sitting alongside him and Pete Brown and it's a really rejig truck if you like and they're currently sitting in 10th place. If they can get up here with no points to their tally, that will improve their performance. And they're going to do just that. They crest the top of the hazard now and zero points. So that's a great run for Brendan James and Pete Brown. Wayne Osman and Lynn White are next from Whanganui. Small block Chev powered home built Gulf Western Oil are the sponsors. Currently sitting in 17th place. And that. Bowtie horsepower paying dividends here as they will clear the section as well. A little bit of smoke coming out the exhaust, probably not too much to worry about. This is Mitchell Seymour and Jared Dodds in the Demon Energy Suzuki Special SL Rover V8. And have a look at this, it's got rear wheel steering as well, so four wheel steering. I think there's a chicken on the front grill. Maybe that's lunch. Up and over the top, no points against their name, so that's a good run for the Demon Energy boys, Mitchell Seymour and Jared Dodds. Next to go, Reuben Mason and Warren Jeffries from the Windy City. Another rear steer truck. X-Rides are the sponsor, Mean Maori Mean for Mason and Jeffries. 60 points, it didn't go as well as it could have for them. Well, this is hazard number four now, and we welcome back Brendan James and Pete Brown in their Suzuki home build, their Toyota powered Suzuki home build. At about 150 metres straight up. Now they've picked up two spots in hazard number three, currently sitting in eighth place. If you have a look at the uh, little ticker board scrolling down the bottom of the screen, that tells you where the various combinations are in the competition. This is Osman and White, Wayne Osman and Lynn White, and their 383 small block Chevy powered home build. Now they've got a problem here because they haven't got to the blue pig. And the other competitions we've shown you, we have to uh, go through the two blue pegs. Here you only have to touch it, and unfortunately they didn't touch it. That's why they pick up the 20 points. Let's see that Brent Ward and Mark Smith have been watching, and they don't make the same mistake. They're currently sitting in 15th place, heading up towards the finish. There's a huge hole, you don't really see it there, but it throws the competitors off to the uh, right-hand side, or our left as we look at it. And that stopped the uh, progress there of Brent Ward. Foray and Simpson now. Plenty of power on board here. All you got to do is touch that blue peg, touches it, and perfect score. Zero points. Great result. That's, yeah, that's awesome. awesome. I love it when that happens. What's the trick? How do you get Just up get there? into it. You really? <laughs> no lockers. Yeah, back locker in. Back Just lockers? Get a foot on the floor. What gear? Third. Well, what will Derek Smythe and Mike Rapin do here? Here they are in their 5 litre P76 powered home built Brunton Engineering Special. Oh, and they're not going to be able to touch the blue peg as well, and it's going to cost them 20 valuable points. And they were in the top five. What, what do you reckon, Malcolm? Good hook line. Just pace. Uh, you reckon? Anyway, excellent, excellent obstacle. Yeah. Fast. Fast. Yeah. What anyway, gear, do it. Third gear, third yeah, gear, really? fast. Really? Yep. Sweet. Well, there is the expert's opinion. Third gear, hit it fast, keep it pinned. Let's see what uh, Phil Conwell and Paul Chapman can do. They're on the journey now. You've got to keep it out of that big hole there. Oh, and they leap out four wheels off the ground. It's not doing too much for the traction, and it means they're not going to get to the blue peg, or are they? They're not. They got within a whisker, but it's going to cost them 10 points. And it could be costly because they were sitting in seventh place. This is Martin and Tony Walton now. Plenty 
Reeves on board for the supercharged Holden. And they're going to make it look easy, flatten that blue peg. A perfect score for the Waltons from the Bay of Plenty. Plenty of foot, foot flat and <laughs> hope the best of the rope bounce. Is this a man currently in first place? And this is Neville Dunton and Colin Piper in their Holden HSV supercharged home build. Power shouldn't be a problem. Oh, but maybe getting to the blue peg might be. Oh, they're so, so close. Now, what are the judges going to say here? He came up. Yeah. Pushed the blue over. Oh, yeah? So, look to me. On a parallel. That is just under his diff. Excellent. So, to me, I'd say that's a zero. Fantastic. Good effort by Neville. Well, next to go, Mike G. Taylor and Alistair Bradley in the Lexus V8. Angus Pure, home built. Oh, there was a bit of a mechanical noise there. I wouldn't be surprised if that back diff's gone Go again back, Mike. for Mike G. Taylor. No. He hasn't hit the blue yeah, peg, so it's cost him 20 penalty points. But more importantly, maybe a mechanical DNF. Shannon Wellman and Shane Holloway are next from the Thames Valley area. This is a Subaru, two litre Boxster engine. Oh, and they've found that big hole I was talking about before and it's halted their progress and it's halted it further down the course than they would have liked and that means 60 big penalty points on this hazard for the combination from Thames Valley. Welcome back to Suzuki Extreme, let's catch up with Mr ARB. ARB are proud to be involved with Suzuki Extreme. We have a number of competitors using our products, predominantly the air lockers, in competition and we think it's a great series. Right, back into the action now, hazard number five and this is Lane Jones and Ryan Bold from the Valley Four Wheel Drive Club. Now they should have all the power in the world to uh, clean this one without too much problem. Well it shows how much I know because 40 points will go against their name because they didn't complete the hazard. Hamish Array and Hamish Simpson next. Two litre Nissan Turbo powered home built special. Just coming up with the red pegs as you can see how steep it is from our camera angle there. And 30 points to their name. They are currently sitting in 11th place so that may hurt them. This is the man currently in fifth. This is Derek Smythe and Mike Reepin in the Brunton Engineering home built B76 special. It's not about horsepower, maybe it's about traction. There's all the power in the world. 30 points for Derek and Mike. Keeps them in fifth place. Martin and Tony Walton next. Then the Holden V6 supercharged Loose Goose. Cooks are the sponsors. Ooh! That was a quick stop. I think Tony might have felt that. Malcolm Cleavy now and Glenn Gooden in their Suzuki home built Nissan SR20 powered Cops sponsored truck. Currently sitting in 11th place and they're not going to get to the top either. 30 big points beside their name here in Hazard 5. Bernie and Heidi Schicker now from Eastern Bay. Getting very close to one of our cameramen, looking for the best possible line. He says a lot of it is about line selection, and how about how steep it is? Brilliant performance there from the Shickers. But that is a zero, so incredible stuff. Here we go, Phil Conlon and Paul Chapman now from the Windy City in their home build. Plenty of power on board, plenty of speed. Are they going to get to the top? Are they going to do an Ernie Shicker? No, they are not. Not getting to the top of the hazard and running out of the course means 40 points by their name, currently sitting in 7th place. This is Mike Dodunsky and Graham Goble, they're in 8th place at the moment from Taranaki. Slightly different approach, but the same result, 30 points beside the name for the boys from Taranaki. Warwick Dahlberg and Russell Dahlberg from Whangarei. Currently sitting in second. They're always a threat wherever they go in this PDL truck and they're a threat again here, but they don't get to the top of the hazard and it costs them 30 big points. Warden Smith next to go and things getting pretty tight at the top. Although these guys currently sitting in 30, they'll need the points here. Oh, and they've cleared that first little hump. Have they got to the top of the hazard? They have and it's a zero for Brent Ward and Mark Smith in the home build. So that's a great result for them. Graham Kingston and Mike Boston now in the Toyota Land Cruiser, the Kingston Lockheed's Land Cruiser. 40 points by their name. I think getting back's as hard as getting up. Ray and Karen Morris from South Waikato. Near 
get it fully. Lexa screaming, but it's not going to scream enough, and they're not going to get to the top of the hazard. So 40 points by their name as well. We can see that the weather certainly hasn't uh, let up here at Melitar as we watch James and Brown. Oh, and they've just strailed off the course, and that's going to cost them 50 points. And their Suzuki home built, their Toyota powered Suzuki home built. Brian Howard and Ross Alcock are next in the V12 BMW Land Rover. Sturdy British Bulldog, is it going to have enough to get to the top? Oh, as much as he's soaring on the wheel, you'd have to say no. 70 points, currently sitting them in 24. Well, Dirty Dozen, because we're running 12 cylinders, you see, so we thought the Dirty Dozen was a good sort of a, a name for the truck. So it's a lightweight and a lot more horsepower than what we had last season. Okay. So we're just trying to get to grips with it. Oh, no, I think we've just sort of, we're trying to keep the truck simple mm. and reliable. Um, and something that we can fix quickly and easily. I think we're working better as a team. Um, we walk the hazards together and we can talk a lot about, you know, we, we work off each other really. And yeah, after driving for a season, it does make a difference. You sort of know what the truck, yeah, how hard it is to get the gas on when you when the navigator's yelling at you to get it on. If we have a look at the results after the morning session of round two of the Suzuki 4x4 Extreme Cup, we've got a tie at the top with Smythe and Ripon on 130, as well as the Shickers also on 130 points. Walton and Walton, and then we go back to Ure and Simpson, Conwell Chapman and Dunton and Piper on 200 points. Done and dusted, or done and mudded here at Matatar, but join us next week for the PM session here for round two of the Suzuki 4x4 Extreme Cup. Hopefully the guys that went out with mechanical breakage will be back for the afternoon session.